Creating an amazing thumbnail for YouTube requires the perfect screenshot. I'm going to show you how I use DaVinci Resolve to line up to the perfect frame and do just that. This lesson is brought to you by Ameridroid.com. If you love to learn and love to tinker, Ameridroid.com is the site for you. Single board computers, maker tech, and home automation, all from their American support center. Shop with a company that we know and trust. Visit Ameridroid.com today. Okay, this one's gonna be a nice, quick, and simple tutorial, folks. What I'm gonna do is just drag that into my timeline. That's the video that I wanna grab my thumbnail from. And first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my timeline um, source is set to the, uh, the maximum resolution that I'm able to handle for this particular video. So if this is a 4K video source, I would select a 4K uh, canvas. Uh, otherwise, if it's 1920 by 1080, 1080p, I would select 1080. So regardless of what the video that I'm producing is, I want to actually select the highest resolution that the, the source video is because my screen capture is going to match the timeline resolution that I've selected here in my timeline format in DaVinci Resolve. So now anywhere on this timeline, I can scroll just like this. And if I wanna make it a little bit easier, now notice that I've got snapping turned off. That is very, very helpful in this case. Make sure you turn off the magnet tool. And then you can just kind of slide around like this. Zoom right in so that we can get right in. See these lines? These are frames. So I can next frame, next frame, next frame. And I can get right in there and find the one that is absolutely perfect for what I wanna do. So for the case of a thumbnail, I'd want something that is a little bit off to the side. And there we go. So let's say that is the perfect, notice that I'm using the zoom tool to be able to change my snapping here. And it's snapping to these lines because I've turned off the, uh, this tool here. So instead I'm snapping frame by frame by frame by frame versus if I had snapping turned on, it's snapping uh, at this zoom level, it's still snapping by the frame, but um, if you had anything selected or cut, um, we're working with a, a raw video here that's already rendered, so it's a little bit easier. But in your case, you may have something that is cut up in your timeline, so you definitely want to turn that off and zoom in. That's going to help you out a lot. So with the frame selected that I want, let's say that's the one that I want, I'm going to click on to my color grading screen here. And uh, we typically think of this as where we're going to grade our, our scene, where we're going to add our chroma key, things like that. But in this case, if this is the perfect frame that I want, I'm just going to right click on the preview window here and click grab still. Now that's created this guy over here, but you notice it's motion and it's, but every time I move my mouse off of it, it jumps right back to that very scene just like that. So now I don't actually have a still. I haven't actually saved anything. There's nothing in my, uh, my media pool here. But back here, now that I've got this still here, I can right click on it and go export. And now I'm just gonna pop this on my desktop. And now notice here, save as type at the bottom. I'm gonna change that to ping, P-N-G. And we're gonna call this my screenshot and I don't have to give it an extension, it's gonna do that automatically and click export. And now, even though it doesn't look like it's done anything at all, if I bring up my desktop, we'll see that there are two files, a DRX file, which is the uh, basically the, the color correction that I've done here, if I've done any. It saves that to uh, a script there, and then there's a ping file. So this ping file, I can now open into my editor, and I have the exact high resolution, full resolution screen grab that I was looking for directly from DaVinci Resolve. Please remember that The Show Show is a brand new channel here on YouTube. It's a labor of love. They won't let me make money on it until I've got a thousand subscribers. But I'm committed to keeping these helpful tutorials absolutely free for you. So all I ask is that you give this video a like and please subscribe to this channel to help me toward that goal. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.